As many of you don't know, I come from a very proud line of booze cruisers. In fact, one of my ancestors has his own Wikipedia page for practicing his God-given right to drink and drive. Thomas Fitzstephen. Now, I know what you're thinking. Goblin's Guide, that man isn't a goblin. How can you be related? Well, viewer, how about you take a closer look? This man is clearly a goblin. Hey, man, put this on. Anyways. Thomas Fitzstephen was a captain during a turbulent time in England. You see, this fella named William had just left Normandy with his boys and took over England. But William had a problem. He had too many sons and each son hated the other. <laughs> when William the Conqueror died, a decade of war broke out, leaving his youngest son, Henry, as king. Now, Henry was an effective ruler who stabilized both England and Normandy, but he made a rookie mistake. He forgot to install breathalyzers on all of his ships. Henry traveled with his only legitimate son, William Adelin, his nephew Stephen, several of his illegitimate children, and a bunch of nobility over to Normandy to make peace treaties with the King of France. After their business was done, Thomas Fitzstephen had an audience with King Henry. He wanted to pay homage to his father, who had delivered William the Conqueror to England all those years ago, so he offered to escort Henry back home. Henry responded by saying, Ah, yeah, you see, I would, but I got these plans. But I, I'll tell you what. You can take my son and the rest of our party back to England. So the king left for England earlier in the day while the rest of his party stayed a bit longer. Alright, so Stephen is what we call a certified boozer. So he did what any boozer would do and got the sailors drunk, he got the royals drunk, and he got Thomas Fitzstephen drunk. After a long night of party rockin', the crew's thirst was finally quenched enough to get behind a wheel, so they headed back to England. Everyone gets onto the boat except nephew Stephen because he had the shits. So while Stephen was busy blowing his bowels out, the ship departed without him. About a mile into their journey, the ship hit a rock and capsized. Prince William was quickly escorted onto the only escape boat, but decided to turn back after hearing his drowning family scream. The passengers quickly scrambled onto the small boat, causing it to sink and everyone drowned. It is said that Thomas Fitzstephen survived the initial crash, but decided to drown himself to escape the king's wrath. This event would later be known as the White Ship Disaster of 1120. When King Henry heard the news that so many of his children had drowned, he collapsed with grief. He no longer had any legitimate male heirs, so the line of succession was destabilized. Henry later declared his daughter Matilda as successor, but no empress had ever ruled England before. And when King Henry died, the throne was usurped by Stephen. Yes, the same Stephen who got the crew drunk, which led to the death of a bunch of nobility and the heir, stole the crown. If you think about it, his diarrhea is probably the most important thing to ever happen to him. Thousands of people died because this man had to take a dump. Stephen's war against Matilda is known as the Anarchy Period. Once again, England was plunged into another decade-long civil war due to a succession crisis. So next time you're taking a dump, remember that it could have unforeseen consequences that radically change the timeline. Oh, and install a breathalyzer on your boat. <laughs>